Our movie starts with Linda Lovelace being driven into the pornographic business by her husband and is based on her actual experience. She moved from being a nice and innocent young lady to being one of the era's most recognized porn performers. The movie follows her from the age of 21 to 32, chronicling her effort to find peace in her life after fleeing her violent spouse. We start in Davie, Florida, in 1970, with Linda Borman and her closest friend Patsy relaxing outside. Linda is a 21-year-old woman who lives in Florida with her parents. Linda and Patsy go roller skating later that night. Patsy notes that the local band is doing well, but there are no dancers, so Patsy and Linda volunteer to dance to the local band on stage. Their dance catches the eye of a man named Chuck Trainer when Linda and Patsy return home. Chuck walks up to them and introduces himself. He claims that if the two of them dance professionally, they can make a lot of money. Linda isn't interested in the offer, but Patsy is. Linda leaves one night to attend a party. She attends the celebration alongside Patsy and Chuck. Linda has apparently begun a relationship with Chuck. Chuck drives Linda home after they have spent some time together. Chuck notices Linda is upset and asks her what happened and Linda then says that she became pregnant and gave birth to a child last year. Her mother, however, duped her into signing the adoption paperwork shortly after, following which her mother placed the infant for adoption. Linda now has no idea where her baby is. Chuck then resolves to meet her parents and assures Linda that her parents will adore him. So Linda invites Chuck around for dinner one night. Chuck informs Linda's parents that he served in the army. Chuck impresses Linda's father, who is also in the army. Linda's parents are so taken with Chuck that they allow Linda to date him. Chuck and Linda then proceed to Chuck's residence. Linda is hesitant to exhibit her body because she has stretch marks on her abdomen from pregnancy. Chuck, on the other hand, informs her that the stretch mark makes her unique and lovely. Linda arrives home late at night, for which she is chastised by her mother. Linda decides the next morning to go out to live with Chuck because she no longer wants to live with her parents. Chuck and Linda throw a party one night. Patsy visits Chuck, who is watching a porn film. Patsy is asked if she enjoys it, and Patsy emphatically declines. Chuck then tries to kiss Patsy, stating Linda won't mind, but Patsy refuses and walks away. Linda is then warned about Chuck. Linda keeps an eye on Chuck and discovers that he is watching an explicit film that he created. Linda is seeing an erotic film for the first time and tells Chuck that decent girls never do things like that. Chuck, who is considerably older than Linda, begins to teach Linda about various positions they can take while meeting over time. Linda has changed dramatically in six months. Chuck calls her one day and tells her to go collect some money to get him out of jail after she has already bailed him out. Linda inquires as to why he was arrested. Chuck admits to being arrested for soliciting prostitution. He says, however, that he had no knowledge of what was going on in the parking lot behind his establishment. He also informs Linda that they will need a large sum of money to clear his identity. So Chuck takes Linda to a production business for an audition. Linda is then instructed by the director to go get some coffee for them. He then informs Chuck that Linda is unsuitable for the industry because she is too adorable and innocent. Furthermore, she misses the physical characteristics that their target audience desires. As a result, Chuck gives them the video he secretly captured while meeting with Linda. The directors are taken aback by the video and decide to cast Linda in their next project. Linda encounters the film's founder, Anthony Romano, while filming. Linda impresses Anthony who tells her that it's the best investment he's ever made. Linda is a touch concerned about the project, which will be their debut as a porn star. Linda is practicing her lines alone when her co-star walks in and senses that she is frightened, so he encourages her by assuring her that they have the best job in the world, where they can be themselves and simply enjoy the scenery. Linda breezes through all of her sequences, but when Anthony notices Linda with Chuck, he urges the director to send Chuck away so Linda may fully concentrate on the film. Linda shoots the meeting segment the next day and impresses everyone with her abilities. Linda ultimately finishes the film, where she takes her new stage name, Linda Lovelace. After days of shooting, Chuck is concerned that he would fall behind when Linda gets popular, but Anthony and the directors are certain that Chucky will become wealthy shortly. Linda and Chuck attend a screening of Linda's film one evening. As more people queue up to see the film, it becomes a big success. The film is so well received by both audiences and critics that Linda and the director are invited to conduct an interview on a local radio station. The picture became so successful that it grossed more than $30,000 at the box office and entered the top 50 grossing films. Linda becomes a poster girl after being interviewed by a number of print and radio journalists at a private screening of the film in Los Angeles. Hugh Hefner, the founder of Playboy, meets Linda. Linda's natural features captivate him, 
and he tells her that she has the potential to be more than just an adult celebrity. Linda is well liked by the audience, and she is having the time of her life. Linda is taking a polygraph test six years later before writing her book. Linda has divorced Chuck. It is revealed. She adds that soon after the popularity of her film, she began to discover Chuck's true personality. He used to choke Linda during meetings and would not stop when she requested him to. Linda is beginning to have second thoughts about marrying Chuck. Chuck excuses himself by stating it was only passion, but Linda recognizes it as his genuine nature. Before Linda auditioned for the adult film, Chuck was desperate for money, so he used a gun to push Linda into prostitution. Linda had no choice but to follow her husband's orders. She came to her parents' house one night because she wanted to leave Chuck and move back in for a while. She informs her mother that Chuck despises her, but instead of sympathizing with Linda, her mother blames her for her predicament. Linda is told to be a good wife and to do anything Chuck wants. Linda begs her mother to let her remain for a bit, but her mother insists on sending her back to her husband. When Linda goes back to Chuck, she informs him that she does not wish to participate in the film. Chuck, on the other hand, threatens her with a gun to force her to do what he wants. So Linda is forced to make the film against her will while celebrating the film's success one evening. Chuck hears that Linda and Anthony, the movie director, have been discussing a raise. Enraged, he punishes Linda by forcing her to take a cold shower. Furthermore, Chuck pocketed all of her money and did not share a single penny with her. Anthony shows up at Chuck's house one day, demanding the money he is owed. Chuck requests a couple of weeks so that he can organize the funds. Chuck and Linda then attended a private screening of Linda's film, where they met Hugh Hefner. Chuck desired Linda to impress Hugh in order to obtain money from him. Linda goes home later that night and discovers that Chuck is not present, so she contacts her parents since she misses them terribly. His father also tells Linda that he viewed her film but had to leave in the middle due to the violence. He is concerned about Linda since she is no longer the sweet and innocent person she once was. Linda sobs and wishes to inform him about her position. However, Chuck returns home, causing Linda to terminate the connection. Chuck is unhappy with Linda as she didn't ask him for a role in his future adult film. Linda, on the other hand, informs Chuck that she no longer wishes to work in adult films. Chuck does not respond and instead takes Linda to a hotel room where other producers are waiting for them. Chuck, it turns out, wants Linda to meet with those men for money. He forces Linda at gunpoint once more, leaving Linda with little choice but to undergo the assault. Linda tries to flee Chuck after returning home, but Chuck stops her. Just then, some police officers arrive. The officers recognize Linda from the film and request her autograph. Linda wishes to seek assistance but is too terrified of Chuck. Linda sneaks out of the house the next morning to see Anthony. She requests that Anthony pay off their debts so that she is not compelled to work in the adult industry again. Anthony tries to encourage Linda to work on the film's sequel, but Linda then reveals Chuck's mistreatment of her. Anthony is outraged by Chuck's activities and arranges for Linda to stay at a secluded hotel. He then summons Chuck to his apartment and brutally beats him along with his bodyguards, for assaulting Linda and owing to his money. Linda divorced Chuck six years later and married Larry Marchino. She has a little son and is leaving Long Island with her family. She receives a phone call from her publisher informing her that she passed the polygraph exam. They now trust her account and are willing to publish her memoirs after millions have read it. She appears on the show, Donahue. Linda revealed years of physical and sexual abuse by Chuck, as well as his theft of all of her wages. In her book, she now wants to share her story with the rest of the world so that anyone suffering from the same abuse she did might find inspiration in her and quit their violent relationship. Linda's parents cry as they watch the presentation, knowing that they taught Linda to obey her husband no matter what. Linda informs the audience that it was extremely tough for her to escape, but if she can, so can everyone else. The Marchinos travel to Florida a few days later so Linda can reconcile with her parents. Linda's picture grossed nearly $600 million worldwide but she only got $1,250 according to the film's closing captions. Linda's book went on to sell out three printings, and she campaigned against porn and domestic abuse for 20 years. Chuck later married Marilyn Chambers, the second most renowned adult celebrity of the time. Linda died in 2002 at the age of 53, following injuries incurred in a car accident. Chuck died three months later from a fatal heart attack, so there was Linda Lovelace's narrative. We hope that you enjoy your time and have a good day.